Justice Department is launching a criminal probe, meantime, into the Boeing jetliner blowout. You may remember that left a gaping hole on an Alaska Airlines plane back in January. Let's bring in our CBS News senior transportation correspondent, Chris Van Cleve, at our D.C. Bureau, because, Chris, you uh, threw some direct questions to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about the DOJ investigation into Boeing today. First, let's just play a portion of that for our viewers. We respect the independence of uh, DOJ and NTSB doing their own work, but uh, we're not neutral on the question of whether Boeing should fully cooperate with any entity, NTSB, us, or DOJ, and they should, and we expect them to. Uh, I would also say the administrator's leadership has been really critical to making clear to Boeing that they need to uh, go through a serious transformation here uh, in terms of their responsiveness, their culture, and their quality issues. And that was, you know, centered on this idea of Boeing's quality issues, these alleged quality issues. From your view, how is the FAA handling the investigation into what's happening? Well, you know, the FAA says that they've given Boeing this 90-day window to come up with a detailed action plan to address quality control issues. My fundamental question to the secretary there, which frankly didn't get a great answer, was if we can't trust Boeing to even... Uh, have the paperwork around removing bolts from a door panel that were well, those bolts, of course, we believe now were never reinstalled. If we don't even have the paperwork that reflects the work was done in the first place, how do we trust Boeing to do anything properly in the construction of these airplanes? Uh, and I think that remains an, an unanswered question uh, that regulators are going to have to grapple with how you explain this situation. Uh, the FAA administrator told me that, you know, they are certifying safe airplanes. I pointed out that they certified the Alaska Airlines plane that had the door panel without bolts. So, you know, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, there's, there's not a good answer right now to some of these questions. But uh, from the FAA standpoint, the, the path forward begins with uh, Boeing creating an action plan that addresses issues discovered during the FAA's audit of Boeing's operation. And a lot of this stems around quality control issues like having the paperwork around work uh, when you remove, say, a door panel from an airplane during production so that you have a way to trace back uh, whether or not the thing was installed properly. That's right. And I think to viewers watching, it's pretty common sense that to not have paperwork, a pretty basic rudimentary component of any type of quality control, really isn't an acceptable answer on this scale with lives on the line. Uh, Secretary Buttigieg and, and other members of the Biden administration are out today um, touting his, his uh, you know, uh, financial plan, his budget. And in terms of these new investments, where is the Biden administration saying this money will specifically go as it relates to the, the DOT and the FAA? Yeah, so we're talking about $21 billion, as you said, in, in the setup here. Uh, they want to focus on hiring more air traffic controllers. Um, they want to improve the 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 pipeline for hiring and also have dedicated funding to modernize air traffic control. Right now, a lot of these projects get approved year by year, and that, of course, assumes that Congress approves things in a timely manner, which they tend not to do of late. So this would create a, a multi-year funding stream for modernization efforts, as well as invest billions in updating and uh, replacing aging FAA facilities, including air traffic control towers, many of which are 40 years old or older. So uh, there's a lot of deferred work that needs to get paid for, the administration says, and uh, they say that this money starts that process as well as brings in additional air traffic controllers. More air traffic controllers, they argue, makes an already safe national aviation system even safer. And what's the big picture view, Chris? Because at any point in time, we could point to small incidents, but airline travel is still the safest way to, to get around. So based on what we've seen over the past few weeks, though, do, does it appear that we're just witnessing um, typical issues, or is there a larger problem, a pervasive issue in the U.S. airline industry? Yeah, a little bit of perspective, and Secretary Buttigieg made this point, and I think it's a good one for us to mention from time to time. Uh, since 2001... There has been one fatality on a mainline airline incident in the U.S. There's been one crash in that window. Uh, you compare that to the number of people who today will die on the roads, they could fill uh, a, a single-aisle airplane every day. 
So the aviation system is profoundly safe, particularly compared to other modes of transportation. Uh, certainly right now, we are hyper cognizant of issues in the air, given what's been going on around Boeing. Um, you know, there's also the fact that everybody has a camera on their phone, so we see a lot more of these incidents than we would have five years, ten years ago. Uh, so that does drive some of the some of the coverage, um, but also, uh, you know, when there's a, a spurt of these things, it certainly was a bad week for United last week. Um, you know, that airline needs to look at. Uh, you know, how they're operating. Are, are, there, are there lessons to be learned from these incidents? The fact is that uh, these things get treated very seriously and are investigated by the FAA and the NTSB uh, uh, really with the same level of scrutiny that we would have looked at a, a, an actual crash. So it is taken seriously. Um, we have seen a, a spat of them just as people are starting to travel more around spring break. So, and, and you've got the Boeing stuff going on in the background, which drives a lot of attention. Um, you know, I think the good thing here is that we see these issues, they get investigated, there's more transparency on uh, safety in the airline industry than we have certainly in other sectors of transportation because it's so top of mind. All right, good perspective there. Chris Van Cleve joining us from Washington. Chris, thank you. Sure thing.